The odds of you as a foreigner, any type of foreigner, gringo, American, Canadian, black, white, yes, even Latino, some of you Latinos think, I get treated differently. You don't, you just think you do. Going to the city of Medellin, Colombia and finding a beautiful young paisa, that's what they're called, people from Medellin, a beautiful young paisa girl that is open to dating a foreigner and is actually a quality chick, meaning she's not covered with ugly bumper sticker tattoos, graffiti all over her body. She's not doing drugs. She doesn't have piercings. And then most and biggest of all, she doesn't do any form of sex work, pay for play, sugar daddies, OnlyFans is literally zero. It's literally zero. And this is not going to be a big video about Medellin. This comes to a bigger rant that I wanted to talk about, which is the number one thing that matters to you in your dating is your location. You have to go where there are a lot of qualified prospects, okay? So if you're going into a city that has one of the most racist and xenophobic attitudes towards foreigners, one of the cities that has high, one of the highest rates of tattoos of any other city, a city that has one of the highest rates of prostitution in person and virtual, like OnlyFans, digitally, as any other city in the world, you really cut off most of your prospects. If you guys ever study sales, you remember the, the end of that movie, um, Wolf of Wall Street, where he's like, sell me this pen. And the guy immediately starts talking about like, oh, well, you know, it's an amazing pen and you know, you can do all these things with it. You can write down. He's like, ugh, like on the next one. What you're supposed to do, like the, the way to pass that uh, exercise, they go, you know, sell me this pen. You go to the guy, hey, so um, are you by any chance in the market for, for a pen, perhaps? You know, do you, have a, you know, ever find yourself you wanted a write some stuff down or you're being like, you know, note taker, you'd be one of those old school guys that, you know, for repetition, you like to, you know, purposely like, you know, write things down. Does that sound like you or, or you know, you tell me what, what brings you in today? And if the guy says, oh no, I fucking hate writing. Writing is, is for losers. I take all my notes in this app called Notion. You go, oh, okay, well, fuck off then. You don't even try to sell him the pen. Before you sell him the pen, <laughs> You want to make sure that he's interested in pens, that he is a qualified prospect. And if you live in an area where you have no qualified prospects, you can't get any quality leads. You can't close any quality deals, if you know what I'm saying. So if you're in Southern California and you're looking for a feminine girl that hasn't been infected with the woke mind virus by feminism, you want a girl that isn't bratty and uh, entitled and like I said before, masculine have way, 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 way unrealistic and comically high standards. You're not going to find her. You, you, you need to leave California if that's what you're looking for. Now, some of you guys love leaving my comments. Oh, this guy just goes overseas to where it's easy mode. First of all, the girls that I date, the nines and tens that I date, they ain't easy in any fucking dating market. So check your shell. Check your Check yourself, <laughs> shut your fucking mouth, okay? Now, the other part of it is this, going overseas, right? Even if I was one of these guys with no photo and a weird username that, came, that claims to be a six foot five, confident, charismatic, gorgeous millionaire, who's like, I can get girls in America, I don't have to leave town like this red beard guy. Even if that guy is real, which is what he's not, cool. Just because you can get attractive women in the USA doesn't mean they're feminine, doesn't mean they behave themselves, doesn't mean they appreciate you, doesn't mean they're not infected by the woke mind virus, doesn't mean this and that, they're still, for the most part, garbage, okay? Other places too. I want to talk about Buenos Aires, Argentina, okay? So in Buenos Aires, Argentina, every gringo I have ever met in my entire life who's been there, and it's been a lot except one, has told me the same thing. It sucks. I don't know why I went there. I had zero success there. I also lived in a city in Brazil, Sao Paulo. I don't live there anymore. Long story short, way too many tattoos, way too much sex work. The whole point, the golden rule of being a passport bro is to go to a city where you actually have better dating than where you were just going to like, like, like back home in the United States. Like, <laughs> If I wanted to, like at one point I remember living in Sao Paulo and I'm like, if I just wanted to get like 50 girls flaking on me and disappearing a week, 90% of the beautiful girls I approach at nightclubs telling me that they're prostitutes and I have to pay for it and wind up, you know, here I am, you know, 10 days later, 
Uh, I've gone on, you know, almost no dates, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, like I could have just stayed in America for that. Now, of course, you know, in the long term, because I'm me and because I'm stubborn, I stayed there and I had some really good results. And actually, I'm thankful I got to stay in a, in a city that's terrible for dating like Sao Paulo because it led to the development of a lot of new technology. It forced me to step up my photography, forced me, forced me to get in better shape, forced me to like, you know, fix up my appearance a little bit, get the, the hair transplant, which finally grew in. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, do, do all these things, right? So I'm, I'm glad I had the challenge, but the point being, you don't wanna stay in these places uh, for very long. If you are just, li like listen, some of you guys, you know you need to do a lot of work. Some of you guys are just fat, sh fat schlubs, fat slobs, you don't go to the gym, you're flat broke, uh, et cetera, et cetera, you have you know, X, Y, Z, uh, unattractive thing about you, and you just know you have a very, very low um, sexual market value. But now for the rest of us, that aren't just like, you know, completely, you know, bottom of the barrel guys. If you're at least, you know, 5'9", 5'10", uh, 155, 160 pounds and up at a decent, you know, body fat range, say, you know, sub 15% body fat, you got a little charm, you got a little charisma and you're happy in your dating life, the problem probably isn't you. The problem is probably the dating market you're in. Like you shouldn't be getting like, like some of you guys are getting like pretty much nothing. And again, I hate to say it, you know, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are just drastically overestimating your value. I'm sorry to tell you. But some of you guys aren't. Some of you guys are actually pretty realistic about your value. And changing your location doesn't have to be this big passport bro like thing. So if you're thinking like, well, I can't do what you do, Redbeard, and just, you know, pack up my bags and go to Brazil or, or wherever, Latin America, that's fine. I talked about this a lot. For you changing your location, if you're in, I always use Miami as an example because I used to live there, I know the area, but you in Miami, you know, changing your location to get better results could be dating girls in Kendall and Coral Gables instead of girls in Miami. They're still not gonna be that pleasant or easy to deal with. You could get lucky and find a foreigner there. What's the, what's the other one, a Hialeah? Yeah, you could try Hialeah, although you might get some, uh, you also might get stabbed <laughs> by some girls that live in Hialeah. But point being is you can just uh, do that and you can also aim to date foreign women. The main point of the video is this though, boys. If I could gift you five to six inches of height, if I could add an extra one or two zeros onto your income, if I could make you have a Brad Pitt in his prime face, none of that would change your results more drastically than you just changing your location, okay? Because even if you're rich and good looking in a market like Miami, they're all entitled uh, cum dumpsters anyway with pretty much uh, nothing to really offer anybody in the world. So there you have it. That's my rant. If you're new here, subscribe. Peace.